إني ألقى الإيناس في صومي وصلاتي ودعائي للرحمن وجميع الطاعات. All right, um, now listen. The major Muslims will maintain that the major Quranic miracle is really a linguistic miracle. Is a linguistic miracle. Now obviously, you'll say that. What about someone who does not? No, the Arabic language is unfair to them that they would not be exposed to the miracle. Obviously, they can access the Arabic language by learning it, but there are some things which are so prominent that you can even understand them without need, even needing to know the Arabic language. I'll give you one example. Uh, there was a time where I was just reading the Quran and I came to this conclusion. Uh, in chapter 58 of the Quran, chapter 58 of the Quran, uh, it's called the, the, the chapter of a woman who basically came and she argued with the Prophet about her husband and uh, you know, not giving her the rights one way or another. Uh, in the middle of the surah, in the heart of the surah, you could say, uh, you know, it says, عَلَيْهِمْ الشَّيْطَانِ فَأَنْسَهُمْ ذِكْرَ اللَّهِ That the shaitan, or the devil, had uh, overwhelmed them so that they, i.e. the people that the, the surah was talking about, had forgotten the remembrance of God. Now, I thought about this deeply. Uh, and I realized something about the actual verses, the actual verses in this chapter. I came to the striking conclusion that every single verse in this chapter had the word Allah in it. Let me say that one more time. That every single verse in this chapter had the word Allah in it. Now you might think this is coincidental or something like that. There are 28 verses in that chapter. Uh, but considering the fact that the Prophet Muhammad didn't have a writing pen, he couldn't write, he was illiterate, that he was literally responding in, in the form of revelation. So he was responding to a woman in the form of revelation. Really, if you think about the odds or the probabilities that he could have just made this all up or had that structure in place, where he put God's name in every single verse explicitly, almost as a counterbalance to that verse where it says that the devil had overwhelmed them and made them forget about the name of Allah. So in other words here, this verse has come to remind us of Allah, or these verses. Then you would think to yourself, really, that the Qur'an is either really precise or is coincidentally precise. But this, of course, is just a taster of the Qur'anic miracle from a linguistic perspective. And there's so many things I could say. But I just thought I'd give you a little taster. <laughs> وجميع الطاعات